Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you these two beautiful puzzles from the brand Unified Pieces. So Unified Pieces are a black owned puzzle company based in the US and they're pretty new to the puzzle scene. They only started just last year. And when it comes to creating puzzles, their focus is on bringing you high quality, luxurious and limited edition puzzles. Their range of puzzles is also very artist focused, featuring lots of really cool, interesting and beautiful designs from artists and designers from all over the world. Their puzzles are also environmentally friendly, so their puzzle pieces are made using 100% recycled blue board and they also use uh, eco-friendly inks. And the pieces come in a lovely uh, reusable fabric bag. So Unified Pieces very kindly sent me these two gorgeous puzzles to try out. And before I forget, they also gave me a discount code to share with you. So the code is juby 20 and that will give you 20% discount uh, for purchases on their website. Uh, it'll should be on the screen and also in the description box below. So let's take a closer look at these two puzzles. So this puzzle here is called Color Bliss and it's 1000 pieces. And I've actually already done this one over on my Instagram account. So uh, definitely go check that out if you haven't already because I've got lots of photos of it there. And also you can read my thoughts on what my experience was like. But yeah, it's just this beautiful uh, take on a gradient puzzle. Uh, it just features all these interesting geometric shapes and all these like really cool lines. And also just this combination of really pretty pastel colors along with like pops of blue and purple and green. Yeah, it's just a really fun mix and just ends up being a really stunning and just very uh, aesthetically pleasing design. So as someone who loves color and gradients, this is definitely my kind of puzzle. And yeah, uh, spoiler, I really enjoyed it and had a really great experience doing this one. But yeah, definitely go check it out on Instagram. And then so that leaves us with, uh, you guessed it, this lovely puzzle here that we're going to be doing in this video. So this one's called Going Through Portals and it's 1000 pieces. And it's just such a quirky design. Um, there's so much going on. It's so detailed. It's almost the opposite of this gradient puzzle. Um, yeah, so we've got this sort of rabbit character here. He has like this bright blue shirt and like this beaded necklace and he seems to be riding some sort of uh, very angry looking red toad or frog. Um, then we've got all sorts of interesting creatures and critters. We've got these sort of birds. They look like maybe herons or cranes. We've got a couple there. And then we've got some twisted looking flamingos. We've got an axolotl on his shoulder. And then we have characters from uh, the Studio Ghibli film, uh, My Neighbor Totoro. Oh, actually, and also Spirited Away. We've got like the Totoro character and the No Face character and one of the other little sort of spirit creatures. And I think even these might be from one of the films. I'm not too sure, but yeah, so sort of an interesting mix. And then we have other frogs down here and like mushrooms and cactus plants and other little plants. And yeah, and then I guess one of the other main things going on in this uh, quirky images seems to be, I guess, well, a portal, like the name might suggest here, this sort of gateway with all these like rune stones or stones with little interesting glowing symbols. And then guess we're looking through into like another world which seems to be space and a ufo sucking up little people and maybe the moon or a planet or something yeah there's a lot of really quirky stuff going on in here i don't know what it all means it's very surreal and dreamlike but yeah it's also just really cool and interesting and fun and i'm definitely looking forward to putting this one together so i think uh without uh further ado let's take a closer look at the packaging, the pieces, and then of course, put this puzzle together. Let's take a look at the packaging. So the first thing I notice is the lovely feel to this box. It's got that very nice sort of uh, like velvet touch or soft touch finish, like a soft sort of silicon feel. And yeah, it's completely matte as well. There's no sheen or glare on this, but yeah, very nice, very luxe. So yeah, looks and feels very fancy. Um, and then the front of the box, we've just got our image on there. Um, and if I flip this to the side or the spine of the box, I guess, we've got a section of the image and then we've got 1000 unified pieces and the name of the puzzle going through portals. And then if I flip it over this side, uh, we've got a bit more information here. 1000 pieces puzzle, the size 20 by 27 inches. There's also millimeters here, 508 millimeters by 686 millimeters. Uh, going through portals, the name of the puzzle, and 1000 unified pieces. And then we've got a bit of info on the top and bottom as well. So on this side it says, we love Mother Earth. We love that our puzzle takes it easy on the Earth. 
All unified pieces, puzzles are made from recycled paper content. The puzzle box and insert are all fully recyclable. And then let's flip it over this way. We've got a bit more info here as well. In addition to making dope puzzles and supporting great artists, it is our mission to give back with every puzzle sold. Through our puzzle, sorry, through your puzzle purchase, you are supporting the work of a charitable organization station. Check our website to see the charities we support. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Not just supporting artists, but also different organizations and charities. So yeah, very cool. And then we've got quite a bit of stuff going on in the back here. So the sort of background is, I guess, a section of the image as well. And then we've got this sort of dark blue kind of overlay. And then we have the whole image shown here and it says full poster image inside for your reference. So that's cool. And we've got the name going through portals and we've got a lot of little bits of info here. 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Then we have this sort of social media symbols and it says at unified pieces. Then we have their uh, web address and a little bit of information on where it's designed and made. So designed in USA, made in China. And just a warning about not for children under, eight, under the age of three due to like choking hazard. And then over here, we've got the name again, again, going through portals. And we've got quite a bit of uh, like a nice little blurb here on the artist who is Pancho Pescador. I hope I said that right. And a bit of info on unified pieces themselves. So I won't read all this out, but if you want, you can always uh, pause and have a you know, closer look and take your time and read it. And then we have the size here again, and then we have the unified pieces logo again. So I think it's time to open up this lovely puzzle box. So it's actually got a magnetic closure here, so it's pretty cool and nifty. And then if we, that lid opens all the way up there, I'll just bring it down here so you can have a look. It's got this lovely dark blue kind of navy color. I've got a big unified pieces logo here, so that looks cool. And before we get into uh, this, there's actually a fun little kind of graphic on this side here. It's got these hands holding pieces, I guess, sort of coming together and some other little puzzle pieces and the unified pieces logo. So that's cool. And is there anything on this side? Uh, yeah, so we've got the same graphic repeating over here. So yeah, cool. Yeah, really nice. Um, I'm going to flip this this way. So we have a lovely bag of pieces here, and this is a bright yellow uh, soft velvet bag, very uh, plush and fancy, very luxurious. And yeah, it's just uh, just opens with a zipper. We've got our pieces in here, which we'll take a look at very shortly. Excited to get into those, but yeah, yeah, super. This feels super luxurious. So yeah, really fancy. And then we've got a nice thick artboard here showing the whole image as well and it's got the nice sort of soft touch finish as well so yeah you could frame that for sure or if I turn this over it's got like a little bit here where you can like fold the sides up and fold this bit out so it stands up so if you want it to be on display whether you're using it for decoration or like a reference picture you could do that but yeah otherwise you could definitely frame it or uh, stick it on the wall or something yeah really cool very nice quality and then we've got a Oh, can I pick it up? Maybe, maybe not. Ah, there we go. And then we have a lovely sized um, reference poster. So yeah, it's like definitely bigger than A4, not quite, what, a, I think it's smaller than A3. I'm not too sure, but it's a nice size. It's not like too huge and it's not too tiny. You can definitely see a lot of the details going on. So yeah, that'll be very handy. And yeah, it's nice and thick. And then yeah, the inside is just this nice kind of dark purple color. So I think now we should take a closer look at the pieces. I've poured all the pieces out and they're definitely looking and feeling really nice. So I guess let me grab one and we'll take a closer look. So the reverse side just has a nice simple gray board. Uh, that's kind of my preference, no paper or anything like that. So yeah, just nice and simple. Um, and then the thickness is, yeah, it's quite sturdy, doesn't feel flimsy at all. It's just a nice, I guess, solid kind of medium thickness or maybe medium to thick. So yeah, it feels very nice, so nice to handle, should be easy to pick up. And then the top of the puzzle has that nice uh, soft touch finish to it, just like the uh, box. So yeah, it feels really nice and it's completely matte. There's no glare or sheen at all, so it should be pretty nice to puzzle with and also uh, really good for taking photos and things like that. So yeah, really excited to puzzle with these pieces. And then this puzzle in terms of 
piece shape is a little bit different. The pieces are actually irregular. So we sort of, um, like there are some pieces that are kind of, you know, look, I guess, pretty close to your sort of standard piece shapes. So, you know, we're used to seeing those sort of, you know, two tabs, three tabs and like your little border pieces. So there are definitely pieces like that, but we also have quite a mix of like other interesting shape pieces. Uh, let's see what fun shapes I can find. It's quite a lot of interesting ones. Whoop. So yeah, we have quite a lot of funky pieces as well. So I think that's gonna make this puzzle uh, quite interesting and fun to put together. And hopefully because there's so many interesting and like different unique shapes that might reduce um, the chances of having false fits. I mean, this like puzzle image is quite, uh, there's like a lot going on in it anyway. So there's not too many areas except maybe like sort of sky and things like that where or maybe some of the sort of ready bits down here, there aren't too many areas that are like the same looking, I guess. So hopefully uh, there's enough detail and also, yeah, with the unique piece shapes or the, I guess, random piece shapes that we're not gonna have any false fits. And then I guess the other things to note, uh, when I emptied the pieces out of the bag, there wasn't really much puzzle dust. Um, I can't, the pieces don't really feel dusty at all either. And I haven't really seen much like, not really much dust in the bottom of the box so yeah that's nice and the quality of the pieces is really good as well I haven't come across any damaged pieces yet I mean I'll let you know if I find anything uh, worth noting but yeah so far everything looks very pristine and the yeah the quality control seems really high so yeah so far very impressed uh, so I think uh, why not have a quick look at this poster and I was about to say let's get into puzzling but I figure let's have a quick look at this and I'll quickly uh, I guess tell you my thoughts on how I'm going to put this together so hmm I'm not I'm in two minds about whether I do the border first I could because there's enough detail here but then up here I'm not sure that could be a bit tricky although it is a little bit gradiated I guess at the very least I might separate the border pieces out and then decide what to do with them and then I think I'm just going to try and, uh, you know, flip all the pieces over as I'm sort of sorting, but also pull out uh, distinct colors. So like the blue shirt, hopefully, maybe these cactus plants here. Um, I don't know how easy it's going to be to tell all this sort of ready kind of purpley colors apart or if it's going to look quite abstract um, when looking at the pieces. I'm not too sure. Like, um, I guess, I mean, I guess that kind of looks like part of this frog or toad, so maybe it won't be too bad, we'll see. Um, and it's obviously pretty easy to pick out these sort of sky pieces, so I can at least pull those out and keep those separate. Might, don't know if I'll do those straight away, they might get done last, because that might be one of the hardest bits. And maybe I'll be able to find some of these like sort of symbols or this dark sky, yeah, I'm not too sure. I guess I'll just sort of see what jumps out at me and then try and uh, sort those into piles, I guess. Okay, so now that I've talked about, I guess, my rough strategy or uh, tactic going forward, um, I think without further ado, let's get into some puzzling.
I just thought I'd pop in and give you a quick update on how things are going. So I'm really liking the image. It looks really cool. It's so different and quirky and unusual and it's just been a lot of fun to put together. I like particularly like these sort of flamingos that are coming together here and the little uh, UFO and the people getting like uh, sucked up into it. So yeah, that's pretty weird, but yeah, a lot of fun. But it's been a little bit more on the, I guess, slow going side. Um, I mean, I haven't been rushing. I've just been relaxing and taking my time. But to get to this point, which I guess is a bit more than halfway, it's taken about four hours and 40 minutes or close to that. So yeah, you know, a reasonable amount of time. And I've still got a fairly big section here, which I've kind of been avoiding. I'll show you on the poster, uh, mainly because it's all these like oranges, reds and purples. So uh, like when I look at the pieces in the box, they all look uh, a little bit similar. So it does look a bit intimidating. So I'm not sure how, how long that's all going to take. I mean, obviously there's, there's a lot less pieces to deal with and I'm a bit more familiar with the image now where sort of things go, but there's still just a lot of like similar looking pieces left in the box. So hopefully it doesn't take another four and a half hours, but or four hours, 40 minutes. Hopefully it only takes a couple of hours, but I guess we'll just see. But either way, I'm enjoying the puzzle. So I guess if it does take longer, it's just more fun puzzle time, really. And then let's talk about the quality. So I've really been enjoying this very nice soft touch, I guess, or velvet touch surface. It's just, yeah, it feels so nice, very luxurious. Definitely, you feel like you're being spoiled doing this puzzle. And it's, yeah, been really great because it's just completely matte. There's no glare at all. So I've been able to do the puzzle without any sheen or glare issues and it's been great for filming and taking photos so yeah really liking it and then there's also been no false fits i guess i mean this is quite a detailed image but i mean i guess i might see uh, in this section here when I, there's a lot of similar colors whether there's any false fits but so far there haven't been so i guess the sort of irregular or unique kind of piece shapes are definitely helping with that so that's been good and i've really been enjoying the sort of challenge of the like unusual piece shapes. It's a bit more, I don't know, it's a bit more fun than your sort of, I guess, standard like puzzle, puzzle piece shapes, I guess. But the fit of the pieces is more on the crumbly loose side. So you can like usually pick up a couple pieces like that. But then if I try and like do this, it kind of, as you can see, is pretty crumbly. Or if you try to do a puzzle pick up, things like yeah, it's pretty loose and crumbly. So don't think I'll be doing any puzzle pickups. So yeah, I guess that's like the main con. What else? Uh, there's just the tiniest bit of puzzle dust. It's yeah, there's barely any puzzle dust. There's just a tiny few little spots here and there, but definitely nothing to write home about. And the piece quality, the pieces have been in excellent condition. I haven't seen a single uh, damaged piece, so very impressed with that. So I think that's all I have to say. I'm definitely excited to continue on with this, although slightly uh, intimidated by all this uh, red that's gonna go here. So I think I will see you again once I've finished the puzzle.
I finished the puzzle and I think this image looks super cool. It was just so weird and quirky and just a lot of fun to put together. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, and it was definitely a little bit on the tricky side, like especially doing the sort of first half of the puzzle or this sort of dark sky and these symbols and even like this kind of uh, blush colored background. Yeah, it was definitely a bit tricky. Um, and I thought the second half would be quite tricky as well because of all the sort of similar colors like the reds and oranges and purples. But I think just because I was a lot more familiar with the puzzle image and there were a lot less pieces, it actually didn't take that long. So the second half only took one hour and 30 minutes. So all up, the puzzle actually took six hours and 10 minutes. So yeah, not too bad for a 1000 piece puzzle at all. So let's quickly recap about the puzzle quality. I really loved the surface of the pieces. It just feels so nice and luxurious with the uh, beautiful soft touch velvet finish or sort of soft silicon finish. And it's also completely matte. So that made for a really enjoyable puzzling experience with no glare or sheen. And also taking photos and doing video is really easy as well. And then as for the piece fit, I'm really impressed because there weren't any false fits at all. So I think that just sort of comes down to uh, the combination of the fun irregular piece shapes plus also maybe a more detailed design so yeah really impressed with that uh, when it comes to the tightness of the pieces though this puzzle was a bit more on the loose sort of crumbly side so as you can see it's yeah the pieces don't stay together very well um, i personally prefer pieces that are a little bit have a bit more of a tighter fit but i can kind of let it slide in this puzzle just because i feel like everything else about the puzzle was just really spot on and just a really positive, enjoyable experience. So I can kind of, yeah, forgive that minor con, but just letting you know, because sometimes that might be a bit of a deal breaker for some, for some people. Um, but yeah, I think I'll let it slide in this case. Um, and then the only other thing was that there was a tiny weeny bit of dust, but it was so minor that it just really wasn't an issue at all for me. And then, yeah, the last thing I have to say, I was also very impressed with the overall quality and the quality control because there just weren't any damaged pieces at all. So yeah, the quality was very, very high. So yeah, really impressed. I can also confirm that I pretty much had an identical experience doing the Color Bliss puzzle uh, over on Instagram. So again, an amazing artwork, but yeah, the quality of both the packaging and the pieces was just really high and it was just a really enjoyable puzzling experience. I think the only minor difference was that I did experience a few false fits uh, in some of the edge pieces with this one. And I think that's just because the nature of the image is that there are quite a few sections that have very subtle color differences going on. So that kind of makes sense in that regard. Um, but yeah, I pretty quickly realized that the pieces weren't in the right spot. And so it wasn't really any big issue at all. And yeah, still had a fantastic time doing this one. So yeah, if you haven't checked this one out, definitely go take a look over on Instagram. So I really enjoyed doing both of these puzzles. I love the artwork on both, even though they couldn't be more different. They're still both very me kind of artworks. And I really just love the quality overall. It was very high standard. And everything from the pieces to the velvet bag, the poster, the artboard and the beautiful uh, outside packaging was all just very luxurious and just made for a really positive and enjoyable puzzling experience. So I would definitely recommend trying out a unified pieces puzzle. I think uh, you'd really enjoy it and you would definitely be in for a treat. So in the comments below, let me know what you thought of this puzzle. What did you think of the fun, quirky artwork? And if you've tried a unified pieces puzzle before, let us know what your experience was like. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. And for more puzzle videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore GB where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.